This is a fascinating pair of 19th century uh, atlases or geography books. This first one here is well-known Cornell. Someone long ago has drawn eyeglasses onto that youth there. It has an 1873 inscription. However, it is an 1867 imprint. Uh, and what makes this interesting is the profusion of illustrations throughout, such as this one here, showing various um, nationalities uh, meeting. Uh, and here we have, for instance, a discussion of geographical terms and so on. You've got this double page world in double hemispheres with mountain ranges, elevations, and river lengths. It's, uh, these are geography lessons and it is profusely illustrated with these wood engraved illustrations as well as these color lithographed maps. And I'm going to flip through it uh, briefly like this to give you some idea of how interesting this is given the date and where this falls within the evolution. It's right after the American Civil War. And for instance, here's the map of the West. Interesting. Yes, okay. Then we go like this, the territories, and there's the states with all kinds of vignette views. There's Broadway in Philadelphia making tar in North Carolina, a cotton plantation here. Huh. Yep. Prairie on fire there. Wow. California vineyard. Miners at work. Emigrant train. Look at that wagon train crossing the Nebraska River. Talks about the territories of New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Colorado, still a territory here. Okay, we go on to the rest of the world like so, and it just continues on like this. There's an interesting map. Like so, this maps of the whole world. And followed by this extensive index at the rear. Typical worn condition, but complete and sound. Original leather spine, printed paper covered boards. This goes with it. It's going to be a pair. This is published in Philadelphia by Copperthwaite, well-known name. Same type of leather spine, uh, paper covered boards binding, typical of the era for school books in particular. Here we have the imprint here of Copperthwaite. And this is actually physical geography. 1873, so uh, about six years after the first one we just looked at. And what's interesting here is we'll flip through it. This has a series of these hand colored maps. And uh, for instance, this last one in this book is a uh, showing the isothermal lines with a comparison of mountain heights ac across uh, from the Pacific Ocean uh, to the Atlantic Ocean, like so. So that's a land elevation cross section there. And there is this series of, for instance, here are uh, weather maps. And we will see other maps throughout. Look at this, American tribal type people here. This is a hand colored ethnographic map. Very interesting there. These are, there's a, a discussion of various types of ethnicity around the world. Here's another animal regions, hand-colored map there. And so here is a plant regions, hand-colored map of the world. Organic life, very fascinating in, uh, wood engraved vignettes all throughout. Wind and a rain chart of the world here with patterns, and here is an isothermal lines and zones of physical climate, the atmosphere, yeah, ocean current map, very interesting, rivers and lakes, different, they're done by this uh, German uh, right here, Steinwehr, and here is mountains, and so on, and this pair of mid 19th century geographical school books is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.